Hi, boys and girls. This is Jason with uh, another recording of Space Engine. I really, really enjoy this program. Just watching that uh, shadow go across the surface of this planet, this nameless planet out in the uh, boondocks of our galaxy. It's thrilling to me. It's exciting. And uh, it's also an escape. I, I thought about that as I recorded it. Um, you know, how, how quiet it l literally must be to, uh, to ride on the moon that's uh, orbiting this green planet before you. To watch that shadow... Uh, go around the surface to, uh, to witness the rings there and, and uh, to see that beautiful glowing nebula in the background you know it's just absolutely wonderful um, you know but there was something about that thought that uh, that rocked me a bit and I, I got to thinking about escapism and uh, and how much of us how much of us do that we do it through uh, we do it through uh, I guess our music we do it through alcohol we do it through drugs we do it through uh, sex we do it through uh, sports and games and you know I would like to say that the criminal confronts that escapism and, and uh, jumps head in and uh, is really quite the opposite of escapism. But, um, you know, but in a way, crime, like person to person crime, is a way of, of, uh, of dealing with the feelings of. Uh, of loss and uh, trying to attack those feelings of loss and making your oneself feel more powerful and in control of a situation and uh, more in control of, the, of, of their lives than they feel they have so it is I might say a form of escapism uh, maybe a little more violent but um, you know I uh, I've I've hurt people in my life. I've done really bad things. You know, and, and like many of us, I'm sure that uh, by the time I realized that I was really hurting someone, by the time I realized that uh, that I just I just broken someone's heart or crushed someone's uh, uh, view of me. Uh, you know, by the time it was too late to uh, do to do anything about it for them, and you have to deal with that. And you know, I guess one of the hardest things we can do. And I think I've said this before to many of my friends. One of the hardest things for us to do is to look at ourselves, not just in the mirror. You know, looking at ourselves in the mirror is is easy because you you kind of uh, you only look at the skin. But to look at ourselves deep within, you know, not just knocking on the door of your of yourself, but, you know, going deep inside the house and uh, looking at all of the filth that's inside that house. You know, all the things that need to be cleaned up. I know a lot of you might have your houses in order right <laughs> you know so to speak maybe your rooms are clean maybe your kitchen is is uh, tightly knit and uh, maybe your garage is organized but deep within you what's there that can be fixed what's there that can be looked at more deeply you know, I guess the old saying is, what kind of uh, 
skeletons do you have in the closet? Not everyone's skeleton is a bad deed. You know, what, what about thoughts that you have of other people? What about the... Um, What about the fear of other people? Do those things make you want to leave sometimes or, you know, get away? You know, when when we have those types of, of observations or thoughts, don't we, or I guess I should say, shouldn't we feel obligated to fix the situation? then leave it? You know, do we ever... You know, instead of throwing someone in jail for a... Uh, uh, for a drinking crime, you know, being drunk in public, or uh, something of the like, isn't it better maybe to... Uh, to find out what the hell is going on in their life rather than calling him a criminal someone that's doing drugs heavy drugs and getting in trouble for it you know um, can't we see what's going on can't we try to help um, I don't know I, I don't know you know perhaps maybe uh, maybe not everyone escapes. Not, maybe not everyone is trying. Perhaps uh, perhaps people are simply people and we're still evolving, right? I don't know. I, I think that uh, just as it's hard to look at ourselves with a, with a deep, deep lens, I think it's also really hard to step into someone else's shoes. And that's also an old saying, you know, uh, don't, um, don't criticize me until you've walked a mile in my shoes. It's something like that, right? And that's the truth. I mean, until you know what brought me to the position I'm standing in right now in my life and in yours because you're looking at me, uh, you know, un until you've witnessed that, until you can until you can know, until you feel what got me here. Don't judge me poorly. Don't judge me insane until you know who I am. And I think we all should do that with everyone. You know, I, I've said that each and every one of us thinks that we are right. We think that everything we do in our life is the best way to do it. Otherwise, I mean, honestly, if it wasn't so, we would change the way we do things, right? Um, what about looking at someone else and saying to yourself, that person is doing what they're doing because they think it's the best thing to do. At this very moment in time, whether it's a crime, whether it's uh, hurting someone's feelings, whether it's being a bully, whether it's uh, uh, anything, that that person might benefit deep inside from me being kind to them so that they might go out and feel the same way towards someone else. I think that's where it all starts. I hope someone out there is listening that, that needs this right now.